Ever since I've started my YouTube journey, this has definitely been the most requested YouTube video, as you can see by the comments. Now, I achieved a grade 9 in maths and further maths in my GCSE, so I definitely know what it takes to get these grades. And I will help you develop the skills and capabilities that you need to get these grades. So let's get into it. First of all, you're not going to be able to work towards a grade 9 if you don't know what you're going to be assessed on. So obviously you need to know the topics now. It's easy to say, oh, just look at the specification, look at the topic list, whatever. But the best way to know what you're going to be assessed on is by using Maths Genie. Maths Genie very effectively differentiates the topics between the grade levels, from grade 1 to grade 9. They come along with practice videos to watch to help you understand the topic, practice questions to help you master the skills to be able to understand how to answer the questions, and a mark scheme to go over them and mark them yourself. Now, this is a very good way to help you prioritize the grade 8 and grade 9 topics, which are very difficult. By practicing these topics effectively using the practice questions that come along with it, you are able to help understand and build the knowledge about these topics so that when they come up in your exams, you know exactly what to do. However, it's important to note that the videos that come along with the practice questions aren't very good on Maths Genie. Therefore, I definitely recommend watching particular topics if you're struggling on them with the GCSE Maths Tutor on YouTube. I'll link that down in the description below and I definitely recommend watching his topic specific videos for the things that you are not understanding. In addition to this, he creates specific videos for the hardest past paper maths questions and this is definitely a good way to help learn skills that you need to answer the last five questions in your maths paper which will be the hardest ones. He even goes through entire past papers that you can watch along and answer yourself while watching the video. This is a good way to help check your knowledge and check your techniques in answering the question. A grade 9 math student will look for the most efficient way to answer the question. They will avoid making it longer and harder for themselves and use their time in the paper efficiently. By watching him completing a past paper alongside, you are able to develop the skills that you need to efficiently answer questions and be that grade 9 student. One of the best resources that you can have for a grade 9 in GCSE Maths is Mad As Maths. Now Mad As Maths has been made specifically for grade 9 students, for high achieving and high able GCSE Maths students. If you are able to answer their hard questions, then you are definitely able to get that grade 9. You're preparing yourself for the worst circumstances in your paper, which makes the actual paper quite easy for you. So definitely check out Madder's Maths past papers where it only includes grade 9 questions. If you join the 9 stars discord server, we can send the file to you. I'll put that link in the description down below as well. Definitely join the discord server. On the discord server, we have a daily maths question of the day. And these questions are very grade 9 specific. So you can answer a question daily, engage in discussions about maths, about the question itself. And you're essentially just preparing yourself for the hardest maths questions. I know it's been repeated many times in many videos. Your teachers will probably be saying the same, but you need to practice as much as you can. Practice, practice, practice. Practice the past papers. Practice specific questions using Corbett Maths or Maths Genie. Practice the Matters Maths grade 9 questions. When you're doing a past paper, you want to definitely ensure that you are maximizing your marks on the first 20 questions. The first 15 to 20 questions are definitely the easiest in the paper and the last five are quite difficult. Let's say you score full marks on the first 20 and you get half marks on the next five. You will definitely put yourself in that grade 9 band. You will definitely boost yourself to helping you get that grade 9. You can even practice doing only the last five questions in your GCSE maths paper. When you are marking your past paper, make sure you're being as harsh as possible. Don't let any small mistakes slide through and be like, oh, I basically knew that, you know, like, it's not going to matter in the actual test, I'll get that right, whatever, whatever. You need to be as harsh as you can on yourself. And this is the way you're going to develop discipline in answering the questions. If you're missing out lines of working, you don't want to give yourself full marks when there's marks available for it. Another important thing that you need to develop is speed. 
You want to be able to work as quickly as you can in your maths paper. Don't let time pressurize you. If you let time pressurize you, you will end up making silly mistakes and losing easy marks. You really need to maximize your marks on the first 20 questions and answer these as quick as you can. So you have time to think about the last five and you're not feeling rushed or pressurized to answer them as quick as you can. You might even get to the point where during your exam, you start to stress, you start to think that you don't know how to answer a particular question when realistically you do, but you're just worrying so much. You're so anxious that your mind is not functioning properly. So definitely work on speed. Don't get comfortable during your paper. Work as quick as you can, even if it's an easy question. You can always come back and check. This leads on to my next point. You need to have enough time at the end to check over particular questions. Questions that are offering high marks to you. Questions which you may tend to make mistakes on. You don't want to be the person that finishes the paper exactly at the end of the timer. Because maths is the one subject where no matter how good you are, even if you score full marks on all your unit tests, it's easy to slip up and make a silly mistake. So definitely leave enough time at the end to be able to go back over your questions and check your working and check your answers. Another important thing is that you don't eliminate any topics from your paper. When I said my GCSEs, what some people did was they'd be like, oh, th this topic already came up in paper one. That means it's not going to come up tomorrow in paper two. But that's not true. They can repeat the topics. And definitely don't eliminate topics based on whether it's a calculator paper or non-calculator paper. The exam board will always find ways to examine your skills in a particular topic, whether it's calculator or non-calculator. So make sure you are preparing for every situation and every question that can come up. One more thing that I would like to add before I end the video that other people may not agree upon is that you shouldn't be revising maths right before your exam. You need to ensure that you have completed all your revision before. If you're revising maths until right before you enter that exam hall, you're going to develop that feeling of, have I actually done this right? Is it meant to be done like this or is it meant to be done like that? You do not want that to happen. You want to have trust and you want to have faith in your mathematical abilities. If you're revising maths right before your exam, you're going to begin to question yourself when you are answering these questions in the exam paper. So definitely don't do it. However, I do recommend waking up early that day that you have your maths paper for all three papers and you do some practice questions. You want your mind to become focused. So wake up early that day, shower and get straight to work answering some practice questions to help focus your mind and settle into a mathematical environment so that you're ready, you feel prepared when you're going to sit your GCSE paper. GCSEs aren't far away, they're soon to start. This is the final stretch and you need to push yourself. You need to work hard. It will all be worth it in the end. On results day when you open your results, and you see that grade nine in maths, you will feel that satisfactory feeling. You will feel like all the work you put in was worth it. Don't lose faith now. Don't lose hope. And it's never too late to get grade nine. You can jump a lot of grades in maths. It's quite easy to with enough practice, enough dedication, enough discipline. I wish you all the very best of luck for your examinations and for your GCSE maths paper. I hope you achieve that grade nine and you are able to make your parents proud, make your family, make your friends proud, make me proud. I would love to see my viewers achieving the top grades so that I know that what I have done, the effort I've put into these videos has worked. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or any requests for videos, leave them in the comments below and definitely join the Nine Stars Discord server. Drop a like on the video and subscribe. This really helps me. It will only push me to make more videos like this for you guys. Thank you very much for watching.